YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to put on makeup for glasses wearers. I know that sometimes wearing makeup with glasses on can be very uncomfortable and difficult because the glasses can easily rub off your makeup. But in today's video, I will share with you all of the tips and tricks on how to maintain your makeup looking flawless all day long without being disturbed by your glasses. Oh, and before I get into the video, I just want to give a huge thank you to Firmu for sending me these pair of glasses. I really love them. They're very cute and comfortable to wear. Um, this is not sponsored or anything. They just sent me the glasses and because I like the glasses, that's why I decided to talk about them on my channel and if you're interested in Firmu I will link all the information down below so you can check it out I'm not affiliated I'm not getting money for that whatsoever no I'm just sharing because I really really, really I'm just sharing because I really really like the website and the company if I ever receive anything free or if I ever do a sponsored video I would make sure to let you guys know about it because I want to be completely honest with you guys on everything that I do I know that trust is something very hard to earn so I would never risk losing your trust love and support um for anything in the world really and i know although that my channel is like still a very very small channel um just having someone out there watching me supporting me trusting me in my opinions my reviews and everything is such an amazing thing i would never want to lose that your trust means everything to me so for no further ado ado let's get into the video Okay, so first of all, I'm going to be applying this Becca Backlight Priming Filter to give my skin that kind of glow from within kind of look when you apply foundation on top. As for foundation, I'm going to be taking this Wasdell All Hours Foundation. And seriously guys, this is one of the best foundations I've ever tried in this year. It is such a beautiful, flawless, long-lasting, and high coverage foundation. And I just love it so much. It makes your skin look perfect like impeccable i i love it now onto concealer i'm going to be taking my makeup forever full cover concealer and i'm just going to grab a little bit of this to dab onto my imperfections to set my face i'm going to be using my rcma no color powder and i'm just going to dust a little bit of this all over my face Okay, so here's a cool little makeup trick for those who wear glasses. So if you want to prevent creasing around the nose areas where you have your nose pads on, what you want to do is that you want to bake that area. Taking a lot of powder on my damp beauty blender, I'm just going to stamp it directly on my nose. And you just kind of want to leave it there for 10 to 20 minutes, so I'm just going to move on to the next step. Oh, another cool trick that I like to share with you to prevent your nose from creasing because of the nose pads is that you can take a matte nail polish top coat. Any nail polish matte top coat would be fine, but it has to be matte. And you just kind of paint a very thin layer onto your nose pads and you should be golden. No more creasing. Trust me, try it and you'll love it. Now back to the makeup. Taking the L'Oreal Brow Shape and Fill, I'm going to be filling in my brows. Just draw on small strokes to mimic that feathery natural brow hair. I want to keep my brows very soft and natural for this look. After that, I'm going to be taking my Glossier Boy Brow to brush through my brows to keep them off sleek all day long. Onto the eyes, I'm going to be taking this Huda Beauty Moth Obsessions palette and I'm going to be taking this shade right here to apply all over my lids as a base so that other colors will blend perfectly on top of it. Now I'm going to be taking this brownish shade to define my crease. And now I'm going to be taking this shade right here to apply onto the center of my eyelids and bringing it inwards to my inner corners. Okay, so here's another cool makeup trick. If you want to amplify the intensity of your eyeshadows, what you can do is that you use Max Fix Plus and spray directly on your brush and then dip that brush into any foiled or shivery eyeshadows and your eyeshadows will pop a lot more. Taking this beautiful purpley pinkish shade right here and I'm just going to apply this on the center of my eyelids to bring that kind of dimension to my eyes. This will help your eyes appear a lot brighter and larger. Just lightly dab 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 it on. Did you see that? It gives such a beautiful glowy shimmery sheen to the eyelids. Taking a tiny liner brush, I'm going to be dipping it into this color right here and I'm just going to run it across my lower lash line. Mm -hmm. 
Using the same liner brush, I'm going to dip it into this deeper color right here and I'm just going to put this right um, around the outer corner of my lash line. Just focus it on there only. I'm not going to bring it in. Taking a clean brush, I'm just going to lightly smudge out the edges to make sure there are no harsh lines. And now I'm just going to draw in a very subtle cat eye. Just do your eyeliner however you prefer to do it. And after that, I'm going to be taking this kind of rosy, champagne-y, shimmery pencil liner to run it across my waterline to give the illusion of a much larger and brighter eyes. This pencil is actually really smooth and it flies on like a dream, so you don't have to worry about poking your eyes or like your eyes tearing up. And just add a little bit of this on the inner corners. And then just go ahead and curl your eyelashes so that they can be ready for a mascara. I'm gonna apply generous coats of my favorite mascara. This is the L'Oreal Paradise Mascara. Since I'm not gonna be wearing any falsies today because I just hate the feeling of my falsies poking at my eyeglasses. It's just so uncomfortable and annoying. So I'm just gonna go ahead and skip the falsies. It's been about 15 minutes since I had the bake on, so it's pretty much done now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dust off the excess powder. Next up, I'm gonna be using this Hula bronzer to bronze off my face. This would just help to bring in a little bit more warmth to my complexion. Taking a smaller brush and dip into the same Hula bronzer again to lightly sculpt out my nose. Now it's time to bring back in some life to my face with a blush. I'm gonna be taking my favorite Becca blush in the shade Flower Child and I'm just gonna apply this on the apple of my cheeks. And then I'm just going to highlight my face with this Pure Nude Highlighter. Apply it onto the cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, the brow bones, and a little bit onto my inner corners. And then I'm just going to finish off the look with this Bobbi Brown Lipstick in the shade Brownie. This is such a flattering your lips but better kind of lip color and I love it so much. And then I'm just going to take some setting spray and mist my face to seal everything in. And voila! Your masterpiece is now finished. And yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for more videos from me. Give this video a big old thumbs up. And comment down below any video ideas that you want me to make for my next video. And I will definitely check it out. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!